A rhombus is inscribed in a rectangle, which in turn is inscribed in a circle as shown. Point P is the center of all three shapes. The length of segment PQ equals the length of segment QR, which is equal to five units. What is the perimeter of the rhombus? We know the rhombus is a quadrilateral where all four sides have the same length. Let's label the four sides of the rhombus with the same number of tick marks. This indicates these four sides have the same length. Next, we were given the length of segment PQ. This segment here has a length of five units. The length of segment QR also has a length of five units, which is here. This tells us that the radius of the circle is equal to five plus five, or 10 units. Let's make a note of this. The radius is equal to 10 units. From here, because the rhombus is inscribed in the rectangle, the diagonals of the rhombus cut the larger rectangle into four smaller congruent rectangles. Let's focus on one of those smaller rectangles. Let's focus on this rectangle here. Notice how the diagonal that's sketched is one of the sides of the rhombus. But more importantly, notice how the other diagonal, this diagonal here, is actually the radius of the circle, which we know has a length of 10 units. We know the diagonals of a rectangle have the same length, and therefore the other diagonal, which is one of the sides of the rhombus, also has a length of 10 units. And this is all the information we need to determine the perimeter of the rhombus. We know each side of the rhombus has a length of 10 units. And therefore, the perimeter of the rhombus is equal to 4 times 10, or 40 units. Now, I did find other ways to find this perimeter using the core length formula, as well as the Pythagorean theorem, or even the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. But I think the method I just covered is probably the quickest. I hope you found this helpful.